Choo here. Today we'll be making green onion pancake. So, let's get to it. Happy Mother's Day. So you're probably wondering, uh, look at you. What's a green onion pancake? It's basically a Chinese slash Taiwanese. I'm Taiwanese. Dish. Okay, it's not a dish. It's like a snack. I already pre-made the dough 30 minutes ago. Heh, <laughs> that rhymed. So I added AP flour. Then I added cold water. And then I added... Oh wait, that's it. Okay, and then I mixed it, right? So you mix it. You're like, mmm. Gross, it's so sticky. So we want a nice sticky, but not too sticky, okay? So it should like, it should still stick to your hands. Oh, it's sticking, ah. And then you take it out of the bowl, spray it, sprinkle some fluor, and then you knead it like, like a pro, like a pizza chef, you know? Knead it, punch, punch, punch. Just kidding, don't punch, but you knead it, don't need too much. And then we get a wet towel and we place it on top and let it rest for 30 minutes. Grab your kniff and this is one bunch of green onions. Cut off just the tip, right? Try to separate the thicker parts from the more green parts. We're chopping it in half. It helps open up the aroma of the green onion better. And we shall proceed to the assembly line unit thing. Ooh. First off, we shall sprinkle some flour. We have this really sticky dough, right? And then we're gonna flour the surface. Gently roll it, okay? Just be gentle with the dough, even if you're angry. And we're going, no, it's stuck. If it sticks, then we're gonna add more flour, right? I rolled it as flat as possible, okay? We want it paper thin because the thinner your dough is, the more layers it has. So it's like this, this thin. I don't know if you can tell, but this is not a round shape. That is fine, okay? It doesn't need to be perfect. As long as it tastes good, that's what matters. Grab our salt, like one teaspoon, and we're just gonna sprinkle it around the dough before anything else and press the salt into the dough. Veggie table oil. Just put it in the middle. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna use our hands, okay? We're just gonna use our hands and uh, give this nice dough a nice massage. Now is the fun part. We shall grab our green onion and sprinkle it, sprinkle it. Oh. Now, this looks like a lot of green onion, but once you actually make the pancake, for some reason, the green onion just disappears. I don't know why, but... I've seen other people make green onion pancake, and they put like two drops of green onion. I'm like, huh? How is that called a green onion pancake? It's just called a pancake. Now, we shall start rolling it up. And we don't want to roll it too loose, but also not too tight. Depends on how good of a roller you are. Now that we have our roll, we shall twist it, okay? We're gonna twist it the opposite way. So this way and then this way. And also pinch the edges. Now, you're gonna take one end and put it under, right? Like that. Okay, I'm not really good at explaining, but <laughs> we're gonna roll it up and put the other end under this. Does that make sense? Take your wet cloth and we're going to cover it, let it rest for 20 minutes and I'll be back. A few moments later. It's been a really long 20 minutes and our dough is nice and well rested. So grab your vegetable oil and wash your hands with it. Put some oil on the counter and push it down. And we're gonna lightly, ooh, you can see these little air bubbles. Lightly push it down. We don't want it too thin or too thick. Now let's head to the stove. 
It's time for Look at You Shout Out of the Week. This week's shout out goes to Galaxy Savage Roast. Thank you, Galaxy, for hitting that notification bell, always liking my videos, and always leaving nice comments down below. I really appreciate it. And let's head back to the cooking. So our pan is nice and hot. And you just gently place your pancake on the pan. So we're gonna place it on medium heat and we shall wait until that side is nice and golden brown. Nice and golden brown. Ooh! And now is the time to cover it. And we're gonna cover it until the other side is golden. It's been five minutes. We're gonna see the bottom, yes! We're going to slam it onto the pan. One, two, three. Proceed with the oil. Coat it all sides. Ow! The pancake is done. We'll let it sit for like five minutes. this one. Ah, look at that. I also made this sauce and it has rice wine vinegar, but you can use regular vinegar. Soy sauce and chili paste. So let's head to the taste test. Wow. All right, so this is the finished product and let's begin the taste test. And I'm super excited. Let's do a bite without dipping sauce. Cheers. Mm. That is a burst of flavor. If you love green onions, then you should definitely try this out. Now the thickness is a personal preference. I just like mine thick, but in order to make it thick, you better put a lot of green onion or else it's just a huge clump of dough, right? But this division of green onion helps cut back on that like really doughy chewiness. If you don't have as many green onions, please make it flatter because it'll taste really weird if you made it really thick and it was just all one piece of dough, right? Last bite. make this again I make this a few times a month so you better too and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my youtube channel I post once a week and I'll see you guys next time